Hey, what's up? What it do? It's your girl Carissa here with another video. So today I'm going to be telling you guys 10 things you need to have in your closet to work the runway every freaking day of your life. Um, these are just some 10 essential things that I think everyone should have in their closet. I saw somebody do this video a long time ago and it actually really helped me, especially when I was transitioning my wardrobe, learning my style and stuff, but still having the essentials and the basic. That video really helped me, so I hope that this video helps you guys in that way as well. But it's just gonna be a quick little 10 essential things you need in your closet. So let's get started. So the first thing I think you guys would need in your closet is an oversized cardigan. Warm, but also light. Some breathable holes in it so it's not too hot. Um, I could still wear this out um, in LA and during class it gets a little cold so it's nice to have this that warms me up in class but also is light enough for the little breeze that we have to like go through it and cool me down during the day as well. Next would be just a plain jacket. For the longest time I needed a black plain jacket. I did not have one. I could not find one and it was really stressful. Like I said it's just a plain black hooded jacket. It has a zipper right here. It's got some pockets. Uh, some drawstrings for the hood but it's really simple really plain and it goes great with a lot of outfits definitely this is something I can take with me that's really lightweight but it still keeps me warm when I'm out so this is perfect next would be an oversized sweater I wear this sweater probably every time I wash it this is the every time I do laundry this is the first thing that I put on I don't know why I don't know how that always works but I love this sweater so much. I sometimes wear like bralettes under it because you can kind of, it's like, it's not see-through, but like kind of see-through-ish. The next thing I would suggest to have is a button-up shirt. Um, these are always dressy. You can dress them up, dress them down. You can dress them up with like some nice dress pants or tuck it into a skirt and some heels and a blazer or you could dress it down by uh, tucking it into maybe some jeans and like some sneakers or something and maybe like a denim jacket. Something like this where it shows like, hey, I'm serious but I'm also young and fun and hire me, I don't know. So yeah, definitely this. The next thing that I would suggest you guys have are running shoes. Let me tell you, this is now my second pair of running shoes. I don't really wear them that often, so I don't need a lot of them. But these are definitely my favorite. I actually wore these to cheer practice when we didn't have our shoes yet, and I love them. They're super lightweight. These ones are from Adidas. Um, they're super lightweight. They're super airy. They don't smell because, like I said, they're very airy so your feet can breathe, they don't stink, they're very comfortable and plush in the inside and I could wear these anywhere, I could wear these to go on a hike. Like, they're just so versatile and I never really knew that until I got a pair for Christmas and I was like, actually I can wear these all the time! The next thing I would suggest is a plain t-shirt. Um, I have th exactly three of these. Same one, just different colors. I have it in black, white, or actually it's a cream color, and then this blue. I was gonna get it in pink and burgundy, but then I thought everyone's gonna think all I have is these shirts, and that's not okay. So you just need a couple um, basic colors, but then also like a fun like statement color. Um, if you guys remember this shirt, it was in the pictures that I posted on Instagram, so go to like that picture. This can go with anything. It can go with statement pants, like some striped pants, some plaid pants, regular jeans, uh, you could also dress this up. You can add a blazer to this. It's uh, plain in the front, so if you wanted to add like some long jewelry, it won't be too busy. But it's also just a really fun, plain, basic, essential shirt that needs to be in everyone's closet. I love black jeans. I wear black jeans almost every day of my life. Um, I also like really light jeans. I don't like dark blue jeans. I don't know why. It either has to be black or light wash. It, for some reason, I don't do dark wash jeans. So these pants are from Hollister. They're just regular denim black jeans. They just have a lot of like holes and like distress in the fronts of them. Um, I've had them for a really long time. They're kind of faded now, but I still love them and rock them all the time. And these are from my all time favorite store, PacSun. And they just have this like patch in the knee. And uh, these are my favorite jeans ever. I wish I could be wearing them right now. They're so soft. They're almost like a jegging material but they're not jeggings. Uh, the pocket is fake, so it's kind of like jegging, but guys, I'm obsessed. I love these pants so much. I wear them all the time. I okay, for the next thing, I'm gonna hold it out because it sheds and I'm gonna just 
not get it on myself. But it is this faux fur coat. I got this for Christmas. It is the softest thing in the world. I actually have two of these now. I got myself one a long time ago from Forever 21 and it's pink and it's a sweatshirt. I like this one because it is a jacket so I can close it if I want, keep it open if I want, and it fits me really well. I think this is a great statement piece to have in your closet. Um, it's really warm, it's also really fashionable. And lastly, as an accessory, I think everyone should have a small backpack. This bag comes in handy so much. It is a backpack. It comes in handy so much. Um, it's adjustable, so um, like if you don't want it to like hang off of you, but I like the hang off thing. I think that's really cute. The only thing I don't like is this. Like I wish this like tucked in a little bit because I think these are just so like extra long in the back right here. It doesn't look bad on, but just like, I don't know. Just, just a little pet peeve of mine. I take this thing to Disneyland. It zips up, it holds everything. It holds my wallet, my phone. Um, it also holds like an extra pair of socks or a shirt just in case I go and like get on like the water rides and stuff which I usually don't but it holds a lot of stuff. I fit, um, I've had to fit blankets in here before, water bottles, like sunscreen for the beach. Like guys, this thing, it may be small, like it's literally like as big as my head and I have a small head but this thing fits everything. I've and it has like this extra pocket here where I just put like um, these like oil wipes and it really helps like when you're just on the go and you want to just like grab something really quick and you don't want to like deal with the purse and like one strap you want to just put on your back and like not and forget about it. That is definitely what that bag does for you and it's great. But yeah, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Um, put down in the comments something that you think I should have put on here. Also, if you guys have any of this stuff, let me know how you guys like it and if you guys wear it or use it a lot. Um, I will definitely be commenting back to you guys and I would love to read your comments. But that is it for this video. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. If you guys want to get a post notification shout out in my next video, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel, click the bell, and comment done when you're done. And the first person to comment done will get a shout out in my next video. But yeah, that's all I have and I guess I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.